I'm sitting here with uh, Evan Roeder uh, and myself, Neil Peterson, and we're going to be hosting uh, the annual Roeder Real Estate Investor Conference. Uh, we're really excited about this. So, so, Evan, what I thought, let's maybe let's just go and talk about the confidence at the moment in the investor market, because there's not a lot of confidence. I mean, we're in a technical recession right now. Well, I think we all know it, that uh, it's a huge... Uh, there has been a huge drop in confidence, especially over the past seven months. Uh, I must say, as a long-term forecast, uh, I'm not surprised at it. That it's a question of when was it going to happen. Uh, after all, we've got a government that's following an anti-investment policy. Uh, they obviously, obviously don't see it like that, but in effect, this is what, uh, what uh, has been happening. And then a few other things, of course, uh, local politics uh, and, yeah, we all know about uh, the corruption that is taking place. Uh, it's making people very pessimistic. And, and the problem with pessimism is that investors don't invest in a country where they can't see a long-term future. Evan, maybe talking to other commentators, they're not really optimistic about the rest of the world either. Because if you look what's happening in America with Donald Trump and, uh, you know, um, I mean, he's upsetting everybody. I mean, well, you know, speaking of the Donald Trumps of this world uh, mm -hmm. and also the Brexit phenomenon, uh, as I see, that's, uh, it's the result of globalization, which is now... It's touching the pockets of your uh, of your blue, blue collar worker and even higher up mm. in the in the in the, uh, in the first world countries because work jobs have shifted to the east. But yes, so those guys have a, have also problems. Mm. But of course, that makes our problem even worse because mm. uh, they are in turn um, uh, also investing less at the moment. Not only because of the globalization thing, but also because of the financialization of the, of the first world uh, countries by financialization, I mean the extraordinary growth we spe we've seen on the stock exchanges. Right. So there are so many headwinds that we're facing right now. Sure. And, and then the question arises, of course, mm -hmm. uh, to a normal person in South Africa with some capital, uh, what are you going to do about it? Absolutely. Yeah. What does a South African investor do? I would say that the rationale for investing overseas is not so much, although it could become in the future too, but uh, I would say the primary reason would be political, to sort of uh, have a plan B. Yeah. Uh, because let's face it, I mean, there's a reason why Zimbabwe became what it is, mm. and that's a lack of growth. Mm. When, when you find, uh, especially in third world countries, but also, I mean, we saw it in Germany in the 30s, you know, mm. when a country stops growing and in fact is regressing, economically speaking, and jobs disappear mm. to thin air, the political implications could be horrendous. Mm. And, and, and South Africa is, is heading that way, you can argue, mm. uh, as a pessimist, and I'm a, mm. a, a born and bred uh, pessimist. Mm. Well, I'll call myself realistic, but other people probably call me pessimistic. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's, it's a question of uh, having a plan B, I would argue, if you mm. have lots of capital. If you don't have lots of capital, of course, mm. well, then you've got only a plan A. Yes. Right, so, uh, yeah, because my prognosis for the economy is, is poor, therefore yeah. the prognosis for uh, consumer spending must be must be poor. Mm. So uh, we're not going to see this sort of exuberant growth in retail uh, performance or mm. retail returns, mm. property, retail property returns that we've had over the past 50 years. So uh, I think retail as a generalization, mm. and it's difficult to generalize, mm. uh, would probably perform on a par with um, mm. uh, or closer to a power with uh, offices and industrial. Uh, Save the five, next five years or so. Right. So, Evan, thank you very much. It's been great chatting to you, and uh, we look forward to seeing you all at the conference.